Okay, cool. Now we're going to go to the second point of call. We're going to call this independence. Financial independence. Financial independence means, now we're going to talk about a sum of money, means um, enough income coming in to replace your current income. So how much does it cost you to live for an entire year? Entire year. How much money do you spend a year? 12 months? Just take a guess. Now, if you don't know, just times your first figure by 10, and that's 10 months, and you can work with that, just put a zero on it, or you can add a couple of extra months to get to 12 months. So roughly, how much money do you spend a year? Is it 30 grand? Is it 50 grand? Is it 100 grand? All right, so this is your yearly burn rate now, what it costs you to live your current lifestyle. Everyone got that? Cool. Who's got it? Cool. Anyone not got it? I take those not putting their hands up are shy or something. All right, now I want you to multiply it by 20. I want you to multiply this figure by 20. So if yours was 50,000, you multiply it by 20. How do you do that? First one is you put a zero on the end. And then you double it. That's how I do maths. So multiply it by 20. Who knows why I'm suggesting now to multiply it by 20? It's a 5% rate of return. 5% rate of return is an average and achievable rate of return. Now, you're not going to get that in bank interest anymore. It's below 2% now, isn't it? In general. But in property, you can still get it. Now, you would argue, well, Stuart, in Sydney, you can't. It's a 2 to 3% return. Properties, yeah, I get that. I get that. But then we don't invest in Sydney to get that rate of return, do we? Unless you're going to bring capital growth into it as well, and that's a different thing. But for this working definition, so we're suggesting that it's achievable to get a 5% rate of return. So now, that yearly figure times it by 20. That is how much money you need invested at a 5% rate of return to replace your income so that you could leave work today. Cool. Who's got that figure? I mean, oh, sorry, two different questions. Who's worked out that figure? Okay, great. So there's a figure there. Who's um, slightly stunned by that figure? No one? Okay, cool. Now let me ask two other questions. Who's already achieved that figure in their life? And who's not yet achieved that figure but on their way? Okay. Cool. But I'm not certain you guys are here just to achieve financial independence, are you? No, you want more than that, don't you?